Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for joining me on this 30 day beginner yoga challenge. Congratulations, you're halfway there. This is day 15. We're gonna move into the deep forward fold called Padangusthasana, a fundamental forward fold from standing that strengthens the legs, activates the core, and helps bring your mind deep into the spiritual center. Bring your hands together and we'll initiate the sacred space of the practice. Inhale, big and full, to the emptiness of the inner body. Keep the mind calm, equanimous, evenly focused, as though there is a place of imperturbable peace deep in the center of yourself. Gently let your hands rest down. Roll over onto your hands and knees for a moment, keeping the belly drawn in. We're gonna start off in the puppy pose today. So walk your hands forward, keeping the emptiness in the pelvic bowl, and then exhale, settle down. Draw in from behind the pubic bone, and we'll stay here for five breaths. One, straightening the arms, feel yourself pushing back behind the pubic bone, two, three, four, and gently walk the hands back, back into the hands and knees plank for a moment, starting off just warming up the spine, maximize the space for the spinal extension, and press up from the shoulders, rounding the back, inhale, lift the ribs away from the hips, maximizing the space, exhale, rounding the back, and pull it in. Inhale, lift the ribs away from the hips, reaching up and up, and exhale, rounding the back, pull it in. Last one. Inhale, lift the ribs away from the hips, articulating that spinal extension, and rounding the back all the way in. Curl the toes under, and let's press back to downward facing dog. Five breaths, one, two, Three, four, and five. Looking forward, let's walk the feet gently forward in between the hands. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. We'll go through a few Surya Namaskar A just to bring heat, fire into the body, create emptiness in the pelvic bowl, rise up through the center line. Inhale, raise your hands above the head, gaze at the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, go down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, let's move back to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Five breaths here, feet hips width apart. Hands shoulder width apart, belly inside. Bring your attention into the inner body. Two, equalize the pace of the breath. Remember that deep breathing, resonant breath with sound. Three, four, and five. Look forward, press from the shoulders, walk forward, chest up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up. Palms press, samasthiti hi. And let's do that again. Inhale, arms up, gaze at the thumbs, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, let's go back from plank to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Again, five breaths here. One, two, three, four, and five, looking forward. Inhale, gently walk forward, chest up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up, all the way up, and back to standing, hands by the side. I hope you're feeling enough fire and heat to move deeper into the inner body. Moving the feet hips width apart, find your orientation with your center of gravity distributed equally through the columns of the legs. Feel as though your legs are like columns pressing into the ground with your sacrum as the keystone that distributes the weight of your body into the two columns of the legs. We'll, we'll be grabbing hold of the keystone and moving it to facilitate a deeper forward fold. To initiate this forward fold, we're gonna take it nice and easy to start. 
drop your hands into the belly. Inhale, hollow out the pelvic bowl. Lift the ribs away from the hips. Find your pubic bone. Grab hold of the pubic bone with the inner body and then pull the pubic bone back. As you send the sitting bones back, grab your sacrum and lift the sacrum up. Float the sacrum over the thighs and then drop your head down so that the crown of the head points to the ground. Lift the body up over the hands and we'll stay here for a couple breaths. Let this be super active in the legs. So lift the kneecaps, firm the quads, sitting bones up, pubic bone back. Draw the sitting bones little together to protect the hamstring attachment. Feel the back of the leg lengthening. Look down at the heels. Feel a line reaching from the heels through the calves, backs of the knees through the hamstrings, hamstrings to the sitting bones. Sitting bones loop into the emptiness of the pelvis. From the emptiness of the pelvis, you reach down and relax the back. Keep the hands here so that your rib cage reaches over and touches the thighs and then bend your knees, soften for a moment and then straighten again. Rest here, rest the mind here, stabilize the legs, make it be active so you're supporting your flexibility. Work with the legs, release with the back. Work with the legs, suck in the belly, release with the back. Bend the knees, soften it for a moment and straighten it again. Hold it from there, release your hands and wrap your fingers around your big toes. And then inhale, lift up chest up, gaze down the bridge of the nose, press through the thighs, exhale, fold forward, gaze at the nose tip, one. Your goal is to maximize your hip flexion, avoid pulling with the arms, instead just roll the shoulders down the back, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale. Gently soft through the knees for a moment, release your hands, and inhale, roll the spine up. Now, we're gonna go through that pose one more time, moving a little bit more in the traditional manner. So we might not take as long to get into the posture. You'll be using your breath to articulate every movement. Feel the emptiness in the pelvic bowl, leave your hands by your side, draw the belly in. Then pull your pubic bone back as you move the hips back, 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 reach down, dangle the arms, wrap your fingers around the big toes, press the kneecaps back into the thighs, thighs into the pelvic bowl, sitting bones back and up, look up, and exhale, fold forward as you pivot down. Five breaths here, one, gently release the back, straightening the legs, two, folding the chest closer to the thighs, three, however long it takes you, no problem. Just hold on to the toes, one day it's coming, don't pull. You can't fight your body into flexibility, just be here. It might not be as deep as what I'm doing here, no problem, just go as deep as you can. Forgive yourself, give yourself your whole life to go deeper, four and five. This was Padangustasana. We'll lift the chest and look up. Lift the foot, place your hand underneath. Lift the other foot, place your hand underneath. Press the bases of the big toes into the mound of the thumb. And again, inhale, chest up. Straighten through the legs. Exhale, fold. As long as you're engaging the kneecap and pressing down through the base of your big toes, your quadriceps will be firm, facilitating stretching in the hamstring and releasing through the back. Think about pivoting from the hip joint. Even if the movement's not happening right away, just think about it. Think about the emptiness. Think about the pivot. Gaze at the tip of the nose. Send the hips just a little forward if you can. Forward, forward with the hips. One more breath, forward with the hips. And that's good. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, come all the way up and feet together. Okay, let's just give that a little shake out with the legs. Okay, good job. Inhale, raise the hands above the head, look up. Exhale, pivot from the waist, fold, go down. Inhale, lift the chest up and exhale, let's step it back to the plank pose, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, let's come on through, slowly settle it down and come to seated. Come on back to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes for a moment. Tune into the inner body, rest the mind in a state of equanimity. As you enter the inner body, a peace floods your consciousness, floods your awareness, wiping away all anxiety and worry. leaving you with a singular thread of peace to tie your mind into the present moment. Never judge yourself by your level of flexibility. 
Instead, just tune in to the inner body and let that peace be your benchmark of your practice. Bring your hands gently together and inhale. After about two weeks of practice, you should start feeling some of the seeds of peace, faith, and strength being planted deeply in the garden of your heart. Keep the inspiration to practice and water those seeds every day. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to continue your yoga journey. Namaste.